I just got off the treadmill and I listened to The Shins, Port of Morrow. I became a Shins fan with the album Shoots Too Narrow and uh, went back to their first album, uh, O Inverted World, and listened to that. I just love James Mercer's songwriting. And uh, so I own every album of The Shins, or uh, I've listened to every one of their albums. And uh, I think so highly of him as a songwriter because I think he's very reflective and introspective and thoughtful. And uh, he writes a, a beautiful but melancholy pop tune. Uh, he wraps lyrics around a melody with uh, just an effortless beauty. So uh, I would highly recommend The Shins if you've never listened to them. My sister and I went and saw them in Lawrence years ago, and it was a neat evening because his mother was there, and it was her birthday, and uh, he saluted her halfway through. And uh, the fun thing was, after the concert, we happened to walk out, and she was standing there. There were uh, people talking to her, and it was clear that uh, she was his mother. And uh, it's the funniest thing, uh, what came to mind, I just blurted it out to her. I said, your son is awesome, James Mercer for president. And uh, I'm sure it's not a job he'd want, but uh, he's a great guy and uh, great songwriter, great artist, continues to this day. He's recorded with Danger Mouse also under the uh, Broken Bells moniker. Uh, so uh, the Shins, uh, lots of great songs from uh, James Mercer. Uh, in terms of uh, something else I was just thinking of as I was running on the treadmill, uh, kind of the other end of the spectrum, something pretty heavy, uh, a band called Alice in Chains. Uh, you wouldn't call them heavy metal necessarily, but you'd definitely call them heavy. Uh, I have uh, their album Dirt. Uh, that's the first album of theirs that I ever listened to. I kept reading such great reviews of it. And uh, while it's heavy, but there's something melodic and so engaging about it. Uh, great songwriting and uh, intense lyrics. Uh, and uh, Jerry Cantrell, the guitarist, uh, I just love the sound of his playing. I think he uh, must downtune his guitar and uh, it's just this heavy, fuzzy sound, but somehow it still remains so melodic uh, and uh, the riffs get stuck in my head. Uh, the, at the album before their uh, facelift, I also have that, and uh, Jar of Flies, uh, I think it's a more acoustic album of theirs. Uh, unfortunately, their lead singer at the time, Lane Staley, uh, died tragically young. Uh, he's been replaced, and uh, I do have one of their newer albums also, Black and Blue, and uh, there's a song called Check My Brain on that album. I think it's on Black and Blue. I just love that song. It's a great driving song. Uh, so if you're in the mood for something heavy, uh, kind of dark, but melodic, uh, Alice in Chains, uh, you can't go wrong probably with any of their albums, but uh, I would start with one fronted by Lane Staley.